Okay, the rams are quieter. They're not so fighty. I gotta fill your feed up this morning. And you guys, hello. You had the night in as well. You might be taller, bigger, more elegant animals, but you eat less food than the boys do. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys out. I kept them in because it was gonna get, it was gonna nearly freeze last night. And uh, they'd just been shorn. Java, Java, leave them be. So I'm gonna let them out. It's nippy, but it's not fr- Inca, Inca, leave it. Leave them be, good girl. So they're gonna go out and they're probably gonna go straight up to that spot of sun up the top of the hill. Look at that, <laughs> right up to the sun. Java, Java, come on, leave it. You're bold. Look at you. Come on. Can you go around? Come on. Come on. No, I have to open the gate for you, do I? Look at her, she blends in with the fleeces. No. Where are you going? Come on, in you come. Okay, they're out there. What do you want? Hmm? What do you want? What do you want? Can you go up? Come on. Go on. Out that gate. Let me close the gate. Okay, okay, okay. You three. Hey, Java, Inca. Come on. Leave her be. Come on. Java. The old dogs, aren't you? So there they are. They're all gonna go up into the sun and hang out in the sun where it's warm. The first of the day's warmth. The foxgloves are absolutely fabulous this year. I've been throwing those seeds in there for years and years. And it's really beginning to come true. I've got to remember to make sure the other side of the potting shed, potting shed window is not full of buckets and red and yellow things. Not very picturesque, but they're looking lovely. Look at that. As the sun comes up. So gorgeous. And look at this red, red valerian. This is fabulous. Look at that. Beautiful red color. I think this is toad flax. It's little snapdragon little heads. But the foxgloves are fabulous this year. And the white valerian, with the white valerian behind. I mean, that could go to any garden show, except for my buckets and hose pipes in the window. Look at that. Oh, it looks so beautiful. And then over here, I have my purple sage and red rose and purple valerian behind. No, that's looking great. Though, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of this bramble because that'll take over. It's already beginning to take over. And this bench is disappearing. But yeah, no, the foxgloves are looking great this year. Absolutely fabulous.
<sighs> Looking at the jobs that need doing. So I've had such a busy week. I need to take tulips out and plant those hydrangeas into those two pots. All I'm doing is looking at it. <laughs> I'm so tired. Up to Dublin twice. Leash. Wick Wexford. All over. Are you coming up? What's up? Java. Are you coming up, Maya? Here we go. The other two dogs are under there, over there. I think Bear's under the chair that I'm sitting on. Anyway, a day to relax. I can do gardening later today. Animals are all looked at and fine and fed, those that need to be. Well, I finally got the oomph and transplanted, took out my tulips and transplanted those two hydrangeas. But I'm gonna have to get different uh, water trays. These are too small, those pots are too big. Those are two pots that I inherited from a friend who died a few years ago. So I'm gonna have to get bigger water tray thingies at some stage. And the sun is now higher in the sky. Ugh. And I'm wrecked. I'm bringing these beautiful Japanese maple tree prunings. I just pruned the lower branches off this Japanese maple. I'm going to bring them in to the boys. Hey, boys. There you go. You're going to like that. Yum, 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 yum. You're not interested back there. Come on. Butt your way forward. Get some Japanese maple greenness. They're much calmer now. There we go. Two young boys having some Japanese maple. And the two older boys. Yeah. It's looking fabulous out here and the smell in the evening. Look at this old fashioned rose is coming out in amongst the uh, night scented stock. And then look at this, that's looking fabulous. Anyway, where I pruned was right here. This is the Japanese maple, which is a beautiful one. And I have it here to give a bit of shade to one end of the vine house so it's not completely always baking in, in direct sun. And I've just taken off, it was, the branches were all around here, you can see. I pruned there and there and there to lift the canopy so that I have a lovely trunk. Oh, look, I left a piece. One more piece for the boys. But it's a beautiful Japanese maple. Everything's happening, look. These are just about to come out. These are about to bloom. The irises are blooming. It's looking good. The dogs are hanging out and being bored because I'm gardening. Anyway, one more pruned branch for the boys. They're gonna like this.
There we go. One more. Have fun, boys. Yeah, how are you? You sweet boy. Hey, you. I'm opening the gate so you can come out. They've nearly eaten this, but the long acre needs a bit of mowing. So I'm going to open this gate. The dogs are all in the pickup. <laughs> now you stay there, Brindle. Come on, girl. Nobody's moving. They'll find out this gate is open soon enough. And I'm gonna open the top gate as well. It really is the summer heat. Look at all these cherry trees. I should really let the sheep in there into that bit of woodland. I might just do that. I might open this gate here. No, I've gotta make sure other gates are secure, so I better not. So, this one just for the moment. First person out, you guessed it, a little bit, and her two lambs coming in the top gate. You coming, girls? Come on! Woo! Come on, girls! Out of girls! Lots of lovely grass now on the long acre for them to eat, for them to munch. No, no, that's bold. I've got to use this to keep the gate, hold the gate open. Ugh, takes two hands. Okay, job done. They're gonna get lots of fresh grass now. Hey girls, are you coming? Come on girls. Come on.
Java, leave her be. It's still getting chilly at night. And these guys are so quiet. I think I'm gonna let them out tomorrow night. And the sun has set. <laughs>